chant heard at Gator Games is being discontinued by the university in the interest of cutting ties to its racist origins. News for Jack Sports anchor Cole Pepper is joining us. Uh, Cole, this move receiving some mixed reaction from Gator fans. And not just from fans. It's a chant that has reverberated around the swamp for at least a quarter century, but the Gator Bait chant will no longer be endorsed by the University of Florida because of its origins. So much murder, exploitation, and trauma has occurred under the American flag that we know as Old Glory. Because America doesn't need a show on FX since the narrative of this country is already an American horror story. The extent of black trauma is not up for debate because back in the day when white folks tried to capture alligators, they used black babies as the bait. And I know you're listening and thinking, now wait, there's absolutely no way. But let me break down how these white folks would endanger and trivialize black life back in the day. Whether or not we were on plantations, dehumanization has always been a tool for whites and their justification for using black bodies for experimentation or when they try to justify our extermination. So please pay close attention to this examination. There are all sorts of racial slurs in the United States and black folks have many. It's a historical fact that blacks have been called alligator bait and pickaninnies. So when alligator hunters were trying to find bait, they weren't just picking anything. So it's mad crazy that these whites were diabolical and mad shady and actually lured alligators by using black babies and this is how they would do it. The hunter would put the baby in places that the alligator would be. He'd wait until the gator got close enough to the baby where he could see the gator's head and tail. Then when it got close enough, he'd shoot and kill the gator. Then later, after putting these black babies in danger of being slaughtered, the hunters would give the black mothers just a few dollars. So remember, American Horror Story isn't just a fictional anthology because the actual stories of America's horrors informs us of America's psychopathy.